All right. All right. Moving on. Let's, uh, let's talk. We're not going to run a voice messages based on the time. Oh, I got a voice we'll message. Talk, we will talk about the Hornet versus Viper on a later date. I, I didn't realize we would have so much <laughs> stuff to talk about. So in a future episode, I will break down. Gonk, you can do it like an interview. We can ask each other questions. Um, Love her. Not, not today. <laughs> no. Are you Batman? And I'll be like, yes. Here's our first. Uh, hi, Mover, Gunky, and Wombat. A- AVH3 back here again, CV62. Uh, as aircraft directors, you are expected to park your aircraft on the first attempt. And uh, woe is unto you if you were ever to get a pushback on the cat. Uh, so much so, you might get called out on the radio. Um, so I was wondering if you guys do anything similar to that. Like, say... Um, a consecutive three wire traps or a consecutive landings without bolters. You keep any sort of brag sheets uh, throughout the squadron. Uh, keep, keep track of that information. Anyway, love you guys. This show, uh, take care and uh, Tomcats. Tomcats. <laughs> well, we love um, you too, but this is a donkey question. You've started something. Um, so yeah, there's a greenie board, right? Where every, trap on the ship is graded uh you know you, after every landing like before you debrief actually you you get your quick debrief from the lso and i was taught very early on like you did you get your ass up out of the seat put down your cheeseburger stand in front of the lso and take your pass like a man i mean literally that's what i was told and i was like okay and that's how literally everybody does it and you never argue with them even though they're wrong sometimes. Um, so uh, that being said, believe it or not, my fleet squadron, we didn't have a greenie board in the squadron. What? So, yeah, crazy. I know we didn't have one. Uh, although we had our solid ball flyers and we had our not so solid ball flyers. I'm uh, extremely proud of the fact that I achieved uh, the ace of aces, which sounds mm-hmm. awesome. Cause the ACE is the one wire. And when you catch the no uh, one wire, you get a no grade, which is like getting a D. <laughs> so I tagged five of those bad boys in a row. And, uh, which is actually, I, you know, everyone's like, you super close to hitting the back of the ship kind of thing, but I bypass that <laughs> <big> wire. <laughs> so, uh, well, you're, I, guy, yeah. upon, right? you're not supposed to hit the back of the ship. No. And I'm like, hey, I'm just that good, dude. I'm not going to pass it. Just check it. But, uh, but yeah, so much so, so much so that on my sixth attempt to grab the one wire, I'll never forget it. Uh, our squadron house, so seven is at night, of course, and he's back. <laughs> and I'm getting ready to do my uh, my gonky one arrival, which was <laughs> ECS players take note. Oh Send boy! Ball till in close, man. I would horn at DLC, so you just crack the wings. That would destroy your vertical component lift for you science nerds. And then I would catch it, and I would go right into blower. I mean, and by the time the blower stage, they'd be fully staged as I'm coming down the round down right into the ace. It was like, perfect, man. And that uh, just get ready to crack the wings and he just power. <laughs> and like, you know, as a naval aviator, you're trained, like your left hand only listens to the voice. And so like, I immediately give it a big shot of power and I think I got a three wire something lame. Right. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, he saved me from getting six in a row, but, um, but, uh, the, the, LSOs and the CAG LSO, so the, the LSO who is in charge of uh, basically the landing performance uh, of the of all the squadrons on the ship, they had, I mean, they had all the scores. And they would send them out. You could look where you stood. And, you know, I was the bottom 20, 25% in my squadron for uh, grades, but I was like numero uno for uh, uh, my, my uh, getting aboard. So I always got aboard. In fact, I only bolted one time in my entire fleet. Nice. I yeah. take that back. My deployed fleet uh, carrier experience, I only boltered uh, one time, but I had a lot of no grades. So my grades were low, but my boarding rate was high, which I had a uh, cheeseburger one night with CAG LSO. <laughs> and he told me, he's like, man, I'll take a one wire over a bolter any night. And I was like, what? <laughs> you guys, are- okay. Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, man, so that's kind of a long story yeah, answer to your, your question but uh you want to hear the air force version of that 
<laughs> Boats are dumb. <laughs> we, no, we, we would have, we would track obviously our arrival rates and, you know, really? our I, instrument landing system. Like we, how many good ILSs we flew. No, you don't. Of course not, donkey, because landing is admin, dude. Nobody cares. <laughs> Did you arrive alive? Yes. Okay, you know, next question. No, 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 no. They care in the Navy, dude, because they got to keep... Because that's your whole mission. They got to keep Your entire the mission is take off and landing. You don't do anything tactical in the Navy. No, you spend more dude. time on admin than you do on the actual... No. So that's the, <laughs> that's the other thing. So uh, on, our, on a combat cruise, right? Uh, My Top Gun's only six weeks. <laughs> Well, Top Gun, well, the Air Force Top Gun's nine months because they talk about weather six times before every <laughs> flight. I experienced the reason why the Air Force Top Gun oh, is so much longer. Um, okay. But anyways, yeah. they, they, uh, shots fired. Yeah. No. Um, I forgot what I was going to say, man. You got me all flustered. <laughs> I had to no, do it. Oh, dude. No, it for, uh, no, you're talking about briefing, right? So combat crews, the whole brief is about the mission. And then at the end, they'd be like, uh, we'll come back for case we recover. Any questions? And you was like, no. But there was an entire phase of training just for landing on the on the boat that they do in the rags. So at the end, it's just admin, but it's stressful admin. Good for you. Yeah. Sorry. Long answer. No, it's great, dude. <laughs>